Planet Earth, located in the second largest galaxy of this universe. Third planet from the sun. Primary inhabitants, humans. A small planet in the early stages of civilization. Earth's native species have developed an intermediate technology to survive. Let's look at the Jetsons. An average family using primitive gadgets in every phase of their daily lives. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button again. First, let's focus on George. I hate that thing! Like most, George has a routine that he follows every morning using household appliances. Of course, being man-made, some do have simple malfunctions. I'll be right with you, Henry. Okay, Henry, let's go! George also has other daily rituals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, boy, I can feel that flab melt. And provides his body with nourishment. Potatoes, toast, and jam. Shouldn't you set the timer, Pop? Oh, don't worry, Elroy. Your daddy's a born chef. Jane, Judy, come and get it. <laughs> Wait, Daddy, when did you learn to cook? When I was a boy rocket scout. And George, this food isn't cooked. Pop didn't set the timer. Elroy. Ham, eggs, toast, coffee. Here you are, dear. Thanks, honey. Oh, looks delicious. <laughs> You burn the toast again. Now, don't start telling me about your mother's breakfast food. Now, George is off to work, where he uses the latest innovations to develop his planet further. I knock with six. No good. I got three. Oh, no, not again. Although this equipment is here to aid Earth's inhabitants... George, look out! Hey, cut it out! George finds it does have simple faults. I'm getting punchy for punching all these buttons. Now what? Come on, come on, back to work, no goofing off. Will you look at that traffic? The Skyway is jammed. And at night, George cozies up to modern electronics. Good evening, Mr. J. I think I'm coming down with Venus Virus. Venus Virus? Jane, his wife, uses devices to manage her position as nurturer. Just hold on. I'll call the doctor. Yes, Mrs. Jetson, somebody got a pain in the tummy tum-tum? All right, there's a button missing. I didn't see any bubba buttons. Jane does not use these contraptions just for her household chores. <laughs> She uses these advances for entertainment and personal decor. Oh, Sally, it's beautiful. Now, this is what I meant. Come on now, let's put your raincoat on. Elroy, the youngest of the Jetsons, uses the progress of technology in his day-to-day -day routine as well. And don't forget to peel it off when you get to school. From wall climbing footwear. Hi, Pop. Hi, Elroy. You've got... And celebrating good grades. Oh, A's. Booba dooba. <laughs> to getting home in time for dinner. Well, so long, Irving. See you tomorrow. Sister Judy. That's your bathing suit? A product of Earth's gizmo generation. One anti-gravity floor coming up. Enjoys fun at warp speed. Didn't you ever space ski to school when you were a kid, Mom? <laughs> Why, even Earth's lesser species are benefiting from the planet's ever-developing gadget-based lifestyle. Row, 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 run. The Jetsons' home planet may seem simple and underdeveloped now, but in a few short centuries, this civilization could be one of the galaxy's elite.